welcome back to my youtube channel friends in today's video i will be speaking about the main difference and why we should prefer using median over the mean functionality as a data analyst or a data scientist we know how crucial it is to use and how in a day-to-day -day life we use the mean and the median functionality a lot of many times so it is always preferred to use the median functionality in comparison to the mean functionality now why we should do this i'll be speaking about that in the video ahead if you are a data analyst or aspiring data scientist this is a must thing which is asked in all of the interviews if you want to produce some good analysis and don't want to end up with the absurd results with your data sets continue in this video till the very end and i'll be explaining about this using an example so let's move forward to the example let's assume that there is a training institute for all the long term athletes so in this institute a coach has been assigned so he'll be training all the athletes into the institute for a duration of one month and the committee after the one month they'll be deciding upon whether we should keep this particular coach or not so friends let us understand this problem using the mean and the, and the median function so using the mean and the median function the committee will be deciding upon whether the uh, at least performance have been improved or not or they have been depleted day by day so friends we'll be using this example to understand why median should be preferred over the mean value let's move to our examples so let us suppose that there are five different athletes into the coaching institute so and the one month training has been completed See the improvement produced by the five different athletes with the help of the coach so the very first player has improved his performance by 0.15 meter the second player he has improved his performance by 0.11 meter. Similarly, the third player, she has improved her performance by 0.06 meter. And the fourth athlete, she has improved her performance by 0.12 meter. Now the last athlete, he has degraded in his performance and he is now jumping less than what he was doing earlier before the coach so friends he is jumping less by minus 0.56 meter now the one month duration has passed away now let us see what the committee will decide or not whether the coach should be kept or not into the institute so committee thinks on calculating the mean value of the improvement produced by all the five different athletes. So they noted down all the improvement points. So the very first athlete, he improved by 0.15 meter. The second athlete, he improved by 0.11 meter. The third athlete by 0.06, the fourth one by 0.12, while the fifth one degraded himself by minus 0.56 value now for calculating the mean function you have this particular formula onto the screen so you can just pause a while and then look into this how do we calculate the mean value from a given set of numbers now the committee sat down and they calculated the mean value using that particular formula you can see the mean value was minus 0.12 meter now what does this show this shows that the coach has failed into his duty he has completely ruined all the athletes he has degraded all the athletes performance in the time which he was doing his duty but is it like that let us quickly see using the median function now let's see the median function so these are all the improvement numbers which are produced by all the athletes into the coaching institute now to calculate the median first of all we need to sort the numbers in the ascending order for more information on how do we calculate the medium value you can see onto the screen we have or i have provided all the steps through which and and an example through which you can clearly understand how do we calculate the median value so friends now the median of this particular function after doing a lot of analysis and using that particular function we get 0.12 meter now you will think that the median is the correct value and that is providing the right insight on whether we should keep the coach or not and the answer is we should definitely keep the coach so if you look at the numbers how the minus 0.56 value is 
providing or degrading a lot our analysis so it is it is completely ruining our analysis and it is not providing a good result to us while if we use the median function it is giving us 0.12 meter value and that is the correct value and the coach should be kept in that particular institute now minus 0.56 value in this particular set of numbers of five different set of numbers that is depleting or ruining our results that is that number in a particular data set is called as the outliers so outliers are such kind of value which do not provide or they ruin our analysis a lot of great extent I hope that you must have understood this particular concept by now and you will be using the median value a lot of many times with proper understanding that in these use cases where outliers are present single outlier can deplete a lot of your performance so friends that is why median is used did we get the minus 0.56 value there might be a case that the athlete number five he might be suffering with some problem or they he might be facing some health issues because of which he was degrading in his results or depleting in his uh, performance that might be one of the value so that is because that is because we got an outlier right now in this particular data sets so this is why we should be using the median function instead of the mean value will definitely help you and give an edge into the interview also because this is a very commonly asked interview question for all the analytics role or the data scientist role so friends if you found this video helpful in any way please like this video and subscribe to my channel meet you in the next video thank you so much bye